British veterans fighting Russian troops in Ukraine may face war crimes charges. Upon their return, they face arrest. A source in Britain's security services and a government minister told the Times. The background is the British designated area of fence law. It was introduced in 2019 in connection with the conflicts in Syria and Iraq. The law bans UK nationals or residents from traveling to any region or country where the UK Home Secretary considers their presence that they to, to put a, uh, pose a risk to security to the UK. According to the government, the law aims to prevent British nationals from engaging in terrorist activities and traveling abroad to take part in or, or also assist in future foreign conflicts. Neil Basu, head of counterterrorism in the UK government, when introducing the law said it would have a real operational value in deterring people from traveling to a future conflict and in pursuing people who return from a conflict zone. It's unclear whether the law will also apply to Britain's fighting in Ukraine. More than 150 former paratroopers who served in Afghanistan are on their way to Ukraine to fight on the front lines against Russia. They are said to be fighting along with ex-Special Forces soldiers and thousands of others from around the world. A news portal asked the UK Home Office whether there were any plans to include Ukraine in one of the areas covered by the law. A Home Office spokesman told MME that the issue of UK nationals traveling to Ukraine is generally the responsibility of the Foreign Commonwealth and Development Office, the FCDO. The FCDO told MME that UK nationals traveling to Ukraine would do so at their own risk. According to MME, it advises against all trips to Ukraine. And according to the BBC, the FCDO also warns British nationals if you travel to eastern Ukraine to fight or to support others involved in the conflict, your activities may breach UK terrorism or other laws and you could be found dead upon your... Re no, not found dead, but uh, find yourself being prosecuted when you return to the UK. Foreign Secretary Liz Truss said on Sunday she supports British nationals travelling to Ukraine to fight. Secretary of Defence Ben Wallace said in response that he don't think Liz Truss said we are going to support untrained people to fight. State Department, well, that's a weird one there. And one should be educated, have experience and not be in the service. But basically it's a dangerous situation, so if you want to fight, be a pro who served, he said. Prime Minister Boris Johnson's office said, we fully recognize the strength of the sentiments of the British people who want to support the Ukrainians. Nevertheless, the British government advises against travel to Ukraine. And UK immigration lawyer Fahad Ansari has said that the UK government's comments were at odds with existing government policy on foreign fighters. For more than 20 years, British Muslims who have traveled to war zones to help occupied populations fight against invading forces or oppressive regimes have been persecuted by the authorities. If they were not stripped of their citizenship abroad, they were prosecuted for terrorism upon their return. And as Ansari said, British Muslims who travel to Ukraine to fight Russian troops would return as heroes or as terrorists and be treated like this. But where's the difference to the other cases? And uh, this is a very interesting question. And I'll see you in my next video. Bis gleich.